Hi, welcome back to Collins Customs Garage. Well, my dad gave me an electric impact. Told me if it works, I can have it. Well, I tried it. It worked. So, what I was able to do was drop the exhaust. And yes, I cut those lines. So I'm obviously going to have a check engine light pop up now. But, now, today... I'm gonna finish dropping the exhaust from the header down off of that thing today. But the main goal for today is to get the tank straps bolted back up, get this sucker on the ground, roll it out, use that, hook it to this in the air, and place it right there. And see where I have to cut, see what I have to do. And um, we'll go from there. And just to let you know, this thing sounds pretty gnarly coming off of just straight headers on 4.6. So that sounds good. So I know my exhaust that I'm going to put on this thing is going to sound even better. So until next time, I'll let you know. Probably going to do a time lapse video of dropping the cab down. And then I'll show you where I probably got to make more cuts because I know I didn't get it right on the first try. Nobody ever does. Doesn't matter how much you research or how much you watch. You ain't going to get it right on the first try. But it's a custom build. So you do what you got to do. And you keep on moving. So until next time, I will come right back with an update as soon as I can. Thank you. All right, YouTubers. I am a reuse as much as possible kind of guy so i cut this pipe off of the the 74 pickup what my plan is is to put that other piece back on here and run this piece pretty much right here and have my x pipe right there sorry about the camera angle guys it's a little horrible because i'm laying on a creeper but uh yeah i plan to run this in there i may have to end up cutting some of it off or get a little bit straighter and go from there but now i know it'll clear i can run my x pipe get it to where it's sitting a couple inches underneath the transmission here i don't want it too low because i don't want to scrape it every time i hit a speed bump but I could run it to where my X pipe is going to be right here, and then my side pipes are going to go out. Let me show you this. I cut one of the side. All right. Well, that's one of the side pipes right there. That's the one off of that piece I just cut. It's pretty long. It's way too long. Um, so I'm probably going to have to section this thing down from the tip down to this piece here. So I'm going to have to knock it off over here knock this piece off and pretty much weld that tip to right there that's what i'm thinking i'm gonna have to do because this sucker is way too long and i will show y'all the other side over here what i'm dealing with right now all right if you look that thing right there that bolt did not want to come free so i was trying to save as much pipe as i could so I was able to get this side where that, that thing will move. But that side, as you can tell, it's just hanging on just enough to where it's saying, uh -uh, I'm not working. So I'm going to keep screwing with it, keep messing with it, see if I can do what I need to do. Get this pipe dropped, do some other things and um, get to work. All right, YouTube, you can tell, plan changed. That piece is still up there. I said, screw it. I just cut it off. So, now I can get away from wherever this stupid yellow jacket nest is at. I got one over here, and it's starting to bug the mess out of me. All right, welcome back. Got an idea. I'm going to run it by you. And uh, I don't know the angles, but uh, I'm going to have to do some math, do some angles, see how it works out. But here's what I'm looking at. 
I cut these extra pieces off. This is all the extra pieces. This is the piece that goes up onto the manifold. Yes, the EGR valve is still there. I'm going to take it out. A spark plug will fit in there. And that's what I'm going to put in there with no power, no nothing going to it. But what I plan to do is I'm going to have to run my X pipe. Like the car is like this. And this is the front. I'm going to have to run the X pipe to where it X is like that. And run the side pipes out this way. So when I do this, I want to see if I can use the quick connect pieces to actually be able to disconnect the side pipes from the X pipe. That way, if I got to drop the exhaust, depending on how I have to drop it or whatever, I can get these disconnected, these things over here, I can get them disconnected and then I can worry about dropping the X pipe, which makes it a lot lighter and a lot easier to manipulate. So makes it to where if I got to drop a transmission or if I've got to do back engine work or whatever everything is everything is working so got a little bit of math a little bit of angles to do sit there and mess with it um i can't tell you when this video is going to be posted because i still got the little things to do in the cab and then because it's been raining its butt off i haven't been able to get this tank up and i haven't been able to get this thing back on its four tires and I haven't been able to take it down the road and scare the neighborhood kids. Um, so, got some work to do. I'm going to try to get this tank up. So, I'll get this tank up. I'll give you an update on that. Then once I get this tank up, I'm putting this bad boy on the ground. Well, I should say bad girl because it ain't no boy. It's going to be a girl. Um, put it on the ground. And uh, clean out a little spot for me to put a milk crate and uh then i'm going to take it down the road and make sure it drives good probably do a burnout or two just to make sure the tires spin like you're supposed to and yeah, we know you don't need that to test that but uh we just a bunch of rednecks so we'll let it go fast like to burn rubber um then i can finish up what i got to finish up on the cab and i can drop the cab on i will do a time lapse video with the cab um it might not be a time lapse of the whole thing i'll probably cut and chop it put it together little different things and show you what i end up having to cut and things like that but um for the most part uh i'm gonna try to get some work done today all right welcome back did some stuff here you go those bolts right there they're pain i was fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting with it and i couldn't get it finally I took the jack out of the center and I put it on each corner, got it up and up as good as I could, and um, I was able to start the bolts. Once I started them, I used my impact driver and send the bolts the rest of the way home. Uh, now it is time to get the jack stands out from underneath this thing, put it back on the ground, and um, make sure that it moves. So. Um, Hopefully we'll have a little bit of fun when I get that done. So, thank you for watching. I'll be back soon. All right, YouTube. This is it for this episode. Um, got the back on the ground. Went ahead and cut the old bumper piece off. But I left the bottom piece, which you can see right here. I left the bottom piece. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some uh, channel. And I'm going to go from inside of this out to here. That way I can keep this trailer hitch, which came on the car when I bought it. So that way I have the trailer hitch. It just looks cool. But I just cut off this lip on both sides. Took that heavy piece of crap, threw it over there. And then what I did is I went ahead and I trimmed all this up. So now I just got to go in here with my flapper wheel, cut all the excess metal bull crap off. And, um... Do what we gotta do. Uh, as you can tell, it's on the ground. So, uh, didn't get to drive it today, but uh, I got plans tonight, so I can't keep working. So, uh, like I said, the 
subscribe, like, follow, comment, whatever y'all want to do. Uh, it's there. It's free of charge. The way you can see my lovely face um, and see my build, which care less about my face, I'm sure. But um, besides that, until uh, next time, y'all, you guys uh, be good.